Okay, so you guys may have or may have not seen this already, but the internet is going wild over these green tea sticks and the ads. I, if, I don't know if you've seen these, but they are pretty intense. People are basically just wiping off all of their acne, all of their blackheads, acne scars, everything. Just put it on, wipe it off. So if you haven't seen them yet, play these IG ads. Okay, so there you go. If you haven't seen them yet, now you have. Now you know what they're basically saying these you know, green tea sticks will do for you. Someone actually sent me this, so thank you. Uh, you always send me content and anytime you think it's something that I would be interested in. Uh, someone sent me one of these IG ads on Instagram. As soon as I saw it, I was like, this is, this is absolutely crazy, right? It's unrealistic, but let's give it the benefit of the doubt. I'll look into it. By the time I actually looked at the ad a day later, it was already gone. So already feeling kind of scammy, but I looked into this and I actually saw a couple of videos from some other girls and yeah, it's interesting. This one girl, I watched her video, <laughs> so funny. She literally puts the stick all over her entire face because the ads, they only show like a patch and then all this black stuff comes up. She puts it over her entire face. And it's literally hilarious, but uh, yeah. I am about to be a filter. <laughs> I wanted to try this myself, right? So I went online and I bought the green tea stick it's upside down <laughs> here it is uh, I think it was like 12 bucks on Amazon got here the next day so we're gonna run this through a little experiment and see we're gonna see what this does on my face specifically on male skin let's find out if this works here's what we're looking like here's the instructions wash your face apply the stick let it stay there for a few minutes wipe it off you'll be clear as a ghost let's do this Okay, this is weird. It doesn't even look like the stuff that I saw online. This looks like a deodorant stick. I'm kind of afraid to put this on my face, but let's go. Is this the same stuff? Okay, there we go. It's getting white. Yeah! Let's clear all the blackheads. I've got a pimple right there. Let's wipe it away. <laughs> I've got a pimple here. It's gone. Just like that. Hello, perfect skin. Go for the mustache. Yeah. Mustache. <laughs> oh man. All right, so uh, we're applied. This is what we're looking like. We're now going to let this sit. I'm assuming for a couple of minutes, probably like four or five minutes. It, the language is not in English, so I'm just, I would assume a couple of minutes. So um, my face is starting to get a little dry. Kind of feeling like a little bit, a little bit of like a tightening mask, like, you know, like kind of like a Amazonian clay kind of charcoal mask kind of thing going on here. But, uh, okay, let's just skip forward. I'll see you guys in about five minutes. Five minutes later. All right, five minutes later, my face is feeling real tight, real dry right now. But look, hey, check this out. Huh? All right. Here's a little up close shot. I mean, stuff. For sure, there's stuff on my face. Okay. So, now we're supposed to take a wet cloth, which I don't have a cloth, so I'm using a paper towel, probably the worst thing to use on your face, but whatever. And we are going to wipe away years worth of skin. And we're gonna release my baby-like skin texture underneath. Okay, look at that, look at this. Nothing's changed. Okay, hold on. Where's that pimple? Is it over here? Let's see. Do I have no pimples anymore? Ah, this pimple's still here too. Ah! <laughs> why I put so much on my face? Okay, so I don't know why it didn't work. I feel like those ads, they really made it look like it was just gonna work perfectly. <laughs> those ads definitely didn't tell you to put it all on your face. So I don't know why I did that, but I did it. Okay, that took a while, but it looks like uh, I must, I think I got it all. Okay, forgive me if there's just like a spot hanging out. Okay, so we did it though, and um, I don't know, if you guys are looking the same place I'm looking, it looks like my face looks exactly the same. I still got some like, oh my gosh, yep, I need to go wash my face. I've got pimples, I've got skin texture, I've got blackheads, I don't know if we can get close enough to the camera, I've got blackheads, it's all still here. What, what happened? 
I paid for this stick, man. I had my hopes up. <laughs> okay, so uh, what was all that black stuff on my face? I, I watched this girl's video and it made me laugh so hard. She put a bunch of stuff on her face after she put the mask on because she probably knew it wasn't gonna work. I knew this wasn't gonna work. I ended up putting some of this charcoal clay mask, one of uh, Banish's old products they don't make anymore, on the green tea mask so that it would look like there's a little something just because it would be a little more fun. I thought that was kind of fun, uh, but no. Okay, so we wiped the mask off and nothing happened. What what's going on? Of course the product didn't work because this is an absolutely trash product and the way that they advertise this product to me is absolutely appalling because they're literally preying on the most vulnerable types, the people who need something the most to basically lean their hopes on because people who, who you know are dealing with really bad acne or blackheads or acne scarring some people you know it's not a big deal for them other people it's literally like it's it's the worst thing in their life i have people who will send me messages of them literally crying because this is like the center of their life and it's the most difficult thing to deal with and it sucks to me that there are brands who are aware of this and say hey you know what if we create a viral hype campaign where we modify some videos. You know, we put this stuff on somebody's face, we wipe down, and during the wipe, we use Adobe Premiere to then use a filter on the skin. I mean, you guys have used Instagram filters. You know how easy it is to make someone's face go from having texture to looking completely see-through smooth. That's all they did. They just used an editing program to make it look like literally people were wiping away acne, cysts, blackheads, everything. And somebody watches this, and they're gonna go, whoa, that's intense. I gotta try this at least. Like, it might not be true, but I, it might. And if it is true and I don't try it, I'm gonna be doing myself a huge disservice because I could have clear skin that I've always wanted. And that's why this is predatory and it's disgusting because this brand knows, they know that their product is not going to work. And all they're thinking is make a hype campaign, get a bunch of people to talk about it, get those ads everywhere so everybody who has looked at anything skincare wise gets these ads. People are gonna try at least once to buy the product and that's all they're trying to do. They're not trying to get you as a repeat customer, they're not trying to have a, a high quality product that you come back for. No, they're just trying to get you to buy that stick one time and then you're gonna go, oh, this was terrible, it's trash, you throw it in the garbage and then that's it. They stop making the product in about a year from now, I bet you, maybe less, and then they just move on to the next product and they make another hype campaign. And it's disgusting how they do this because sure, it's only 12 bucks or 20 bucks from each person when they add it up, it's millions of dollars, but it's even worse to me rather than you losing your 20 bucks, which already is not okay, but it's even worse to me that you get people's hype or hopes up thinking that this is going to change their life. And then a lot of times when people get their hopes up and they're already in a really hard place where they're struggling a lot, then it gets crushed even further and their just self-esteem, their, their happiness, their security level with themselves goes even lower than when they started because they just got their hopes crushed and then their hope gets even more diminished and they just think nothing is gonna work. And then they stop trying other things that possibly could help. So yeah, of course, I knew this wasn't gonna work. I had already watched other people's videos where it didn't work. I thought it'd be funny to like do it myself because eh, you know, whatever, 10 bucks to make a point. Uh, but then also, even if you just go look at the Amazon re reviews on it, it's just literally thousands of one-star reviews where people say, don't purchase this and it doesn't work and all this terrible stuff and it's like, I don't know, I think it's just such trash that people are somewhere out there behind this company just promoting this through Instagram and Facebook and getting people to buy this and maybe people don't do their, you know, their due diligence in Google and look at the videos like I did and they buy it and it, it's just, I don't know, it's predatory and I think it's terrible. It actually kind of smells a little bit like my, my face. It's not a good smell. My face kind of smells bad right now. But anyways, I wanted to do this video. Kind of a weird one, but I I, th I think you guys are gonna feel where I was coming from with this one. Um, if you guys are looking for a brand that actually does have science behind it, has five star reviews from people who have actually used it, there are actual results from the products. Definitely check out my favorite skincare brand by far. It's Banish. They make everything natural, cruelty free, all small batch made, so it's all worth your money. You can definitely check out my videos about it if you want to learn more about the products, but you can also just check out my website. It's teamacne.com and it'll show the reasons behind why I use all these products and what I use them for. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. Also, I have a code that will get you five bucks off. It's Brian5, all caps Brian5. It gets five dollars off orders of 50 or more. And that's a product that actually does work. So when I see these brands that literally aren't putting in the due diligence, aren't providing 
creating good quality products, aren't sourcing high quality ingredients. It's disgusting, and I just think it's terrible to to prey on people's hopes and prey on people's vulnerability. I think it's terrible. Anyways, I felt like I had to do this because I haven't seen personally, I haven't seen a guy do this video, so I felt like maybe there's some guys out there looking for guys who are trying this product. And now you know, don't buy this product. It's not worth your money. It's terrible. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Let me know if you've tried this before. Let me know what you think about companies that do this in the comments below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel already for all sorts of skincare and acne content. And remember, you are not alone. You are beautiful and you are a part of Team Acne. I'll see you skin bosses in the very next video.